I'm Tom and this is my fifth video for the Printabout Simple Metal Kit. In the last video we started assembling the Y arm. In this video we're going to finish the extruder and install the hot end. So for this assembly you're going to need the rest of the parts from the extruder bag. You're going to start out by installing the bearing with the M5 Phillips head screw. We're just going to install it without any washes or anything else. You just need to make sure that the screw itself is tight. Next up we're going to install the tensioner screw. This is the only imperialistic screw in the whole printer. For that you'll simply slide the screw through the arm, install the spring and hold that down with the nut. You don't need to tighten this down all the way yet. Next we'll install the arm onto the motor. For this we'll slide the black bearing post and install that whole assembly with a 20mm M3 screw and a washer onto the motor. Now the whole arm should be easy to move at this point. Next up we're going to install the drive gear onto the motor with the grub screw facing forward and at this point you should really make sure that the hopped part of the drive gear lines up properly with the center of the bearing. I'd also recommend using some blue Loctite on the grub screw. Next up we will install the motor and the assembly onto the extruder base. We're only going to use one screw for now and you might need to unscrew the nut on the tensioner screw to get the motor into position properly. Next we're going to install the hot end and once you make sure that it is all the way in the extruder base, you can screw down the other side and clamp down the hot end with another 20mm M3 screw. Next up we're going to do some wire management and at this point you can also attach the extension cable to the Z probes cable and when tying down the cables the basic idea is to provide some strain relief for the cables where they're going into the components. For that I'm going to keep a small loose loop between the fastening point and the components. At this point you can also attach the extension cables to the hot end. The black and white extension cable hooks up to the thermistor which are the two smaller wires coming out the hot end and the red and black one attaches to the heater cartridge. So we're going to use the mounting spot right below the motor to insert a zip tie, then lead all the cables in a small loop and then zip tie everything down. This also provides a strain relief for the extension cable of the Z-probe. And that's what it should look like when it's finished. At this point you can also connect the extension cable for the fan. Just match up the red and black wires here. So that finishes up the assembly of the extruder and the hot end. In the next video we're going to take a look at how to finish assembling the Y axis and how to attach it to the printer.